Hi guys, it's Rike and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of activewear, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today uh, I'm reviewing a new brand, a smaller brand. Um, it's called Rexing Sports and I was recently contacted by them and asked if I wanted to, you know, test some of their items and uh, introduce them in a video to you guys. And, you know, I said yes. I don't say yes to every brand, I will say that. Um, like, it really kind of depends. I try to check them out and see what they have, if it's anything that interests me, you know. And I did like some of their stuff, so I did pick two sets. Um, and they did send me those. Um, they're operating out of either China or Hong Kong. So, like, one of these, like, brands... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of brands in Asia that do ship worldwide basically and um, they didn't look like they had the exact same items as some other companies which happens you know <laughs> so yeah I'm trying to make sure that you know it's like something a bit more unique and not just completely like drop shipped and putting a logo on it so just so you know that um, and they're, they're saying that their mission is to like produce durable stuff comfortable stuff performance based um, activewear basically and they also want to make sure that people feel or get more confident um, you know, through sports basically and love themselves a little bit more, which is I think a nice message. And I do think I'll have a 15% discount code with uh with them. So I'll just leave that here in case I figured it out until then. And of course I would get a commission if you do decide to purchase something. So don't feel forced at all. I will just give you my honest opinions on these things. So just because someone does send me stuff for free does not mean I'll just like hype them to the moon. All right, so um, let's just get that straight. And like I said, I did get two different sets from them. We have something like a little bit more fun and printy and like something a little bit more basic. Um, so yeah, so it should be something for everyone, you know? And I do hope uh, you enjoy that. <laughs> but yeah, so it should be maybe a little bit more of a shorter video, but everyone who's seen these videos before and has or knows me knows that I can talk a lot so yes we only have four items so it doesn't mean it's gonna be fast but I'll try my best to get through here concise and giving you all the info you need all right <laughs> so let's start with the fun set and let's start with the top for that one so I do have the top here look at this it's pink it's patterned um, so this is the tie-dye second skin feel tank built-in bra. So I will say this is normally 49 US dollars, which I think is not super cheap um, for what it is. But again, you can get discount codes and stuff. And what I also just want to point out, which I've never seen any of these brands do, they do have biodegradable packaging. Like, it's interesting, right? Because like it says it's, mm, it's biodegradable and uh, you know can be completely degraded and can be reused so it all says it's compostable and usually like there's a lot of brands that do this kind of stuff and they're like oh it's compostable and i'm like yeah okay but you put a sticker on there and i cannot get this off so i can't put it in the compost actually i managed to get the sticker off so i was kind of like blown away by that i was like okay that's interesting um this is their logo by the way and i think they do have like a bigger situation here as well but I think this is like more of a newer logo situation. So it's not like massive or anything. It's kind of discreet. And actually, when I look at this item now, it doesn't like this built in tank, built in sports bar shelf bra. It does not have a logo on it at all. But I will also say I've never seen this like pattern before. So like I said, I was looking also for like to see that they don't just drop ship stuff. And it's like, it's like, I, said, I mean, like it's, describing it you know it's like a tank with a built-in sports bra or like a built-in shelf bra and it's just like a cute little thing you know a cute little crop top we do have just a scoop neck thick straps here not adjustable or anything but also just a scoop uh just de design there in the back and then you do have removal cup pads um with this shelf bra situation here so you basically have this mesh uh layer and then you have the cup pads here the elastic underneath so, you know, it's quite stretchy, it doesn't feel like too constricting, constricting, that's the word, right? Um, or anything, because sometimes these can be quite tight, but it feels like, you know, nice and soft. Um, also, the fabric itself is slightly brushed, uh, it feels really, really nice and soft, but also has something sleek to it. And it's not like super heavy or anything, so it still feels kind of lightweight. And it's a print, it is printed on white, 
So just be aware that, you know, that means it'll pull a little bit whiter if you stretch it out. And the leggings that we have matching with this one are going to be similar. So just keep that in mind. I did get this in my normal size small. We'll see how that works out. Sometimes it's a little bit iffy with the sizing. Um, some Asian brands. Uh, but I tried to go off the size chart and decided to just stick with my normal small with that. But I'm really impressed of how soft this fabric feels. And that's like kind of still a little bit sleek as well. So it feels, it feels really nice. Um, and yeah, let's just see it on. All right, me and fall in pink, I don't see that very often. And I guess you do not see it very often either. But here we go. I don't hate it, so that's really good. Um, but let's talk about this top. So I will say that it's actually like, I mean, it feels comfortable, but like, and with my experience with like, you know, like these kind of cropped tops with like a built-in sports bra. The built-in sports bra is usually like a little bit longer or the built-in shelf bra is usually a little bit longer than this here. It feels like this band sits right underneath my boobs. So it just feels like for my small chest it works, but I'm not sure how, how well it would work for someone with a bigger chest for sure. So just keep that in mind. You might want to size up because the thing is I'm nicely tucked in. I'm usually a small but it's put in some brands and like for some styles I can go down for an extra small now like I would say for sure if you're in between do size up um yeah I mean you also still get good coverage but I also feel like there's there could be a little bit more coverage here but up top you can see I'm nicely tucked in so yeah for sure do size up if you're in between or if you have a bigger chest I think it wouldn't hurt um otherwise it's quite comfortable there's a seam that's a little bit tighter around here, but it's not cutting in or anything. I just, I can, I, I know it's there. It's just, but it's not like cutting in. So it should be fine. Um, lengthwise, I would say it's definitely on the shorter side. I've definitely also seen um, crop top or crop tops that are a little bit longer than this, but it's, it's, it's still good length. Like I don't mind it being this length. I usually don't like it when they're too long because I don't want to look like I'm wearing a onesie <laughs> most of the times. And yeah, otherwise the back is also kind of more full coverage. So it's like, just feels like I could wear this for like a more, you know, high performance situation. Like for me, support wise, I would say it's a solid medium support. And that's mainly all I need, you know? And like, yeah, you can see I'm fully covered. So for me, it's fine. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind that this part is a little bit shorter. It's basically like a true sports bra length in a way. So like this particular part, so like really sits right underneath your chest. This, this elastic band. And even though it didn't seem like too tight, I'm definitely still nicely tucked in. Like it's not cutting in or anything, but I am I am nicely tucked in. So I don't have any complaints about this, just like, um, yeah, if you're if you're in between, definitely go for the bigger size or if you have the bigger chest. Um, there might not be too much space for that. Um, the fabric feels really nice and soft and very lightweight, so I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. And yeah, it's a, it's a little different, this print, and yeah. I'm here for it. All right, as promised, we do have the matching leggings. This is the tie-dye second skin feel pocket leggings. They are 25 inch length, which is, seems kind of to be standard these days. So for me, it's more of a seven eighth length. I'm five seven. If you're a taller person, these might be a little short on you. Just keep that in mind. And I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but this pink color is called the Sakura Pink Tie-Dye. It also came in a more yellow, like golden yellow kind of thing in, in gray, I believe, but I just felt like I wanted to go for pink. I'm usually not a pink person, but you know, why not? Just try something different. <laughs> and the same with the fabric as with the top. It feels like really, really nice and soft, very lightweight, very stretchy as well. So like, I'm really impressed with this fabric. I think it feels really nice. And I'm not just saying that, you know? Um, I do like my brush fabric, so this is definitely a little bit more up my alley than if it had been something sleek. We do have a top seam on these, which I personally don't mind too much. I think it usually helps with like keeping leggings up. We do have a front seam as well. Again, personally don't mind that too much. I know some people do. And in the back, we just have straight across seams, so not like too much detailing for the butt there. But it'll be fine. And we do have a pocket in the waistband here. That's not like my absolute favorite to have. I think it makes the waistband usually a little bit more bulky, but we'll see how it looks on. It's not the worst. I've definitely seen worse in terms of bulkiness. It's just like, it's such a wide pocket. I'd be afraid of putting anything in there unless you actually go running. If you go running, the keys will still be safe in there, but if you do yoga or anything, it's just gonna fall out. So don't know if I would use that pocket, um, especially because we have two side pockets, you know? 
like so these are like rectangular they're a little bit narrow um when i try these on i'll see if i can squeeze my phone in there or not um but yeah rectangular then this is why we also have two seams running down the legs here um on each side so yeah same pocket on the other side as well so just you know you have these pockets to put things in i don't i don't really need the one here in the back still but yeah we'll see how it looks on if it's still visible or not and we also do have as I mentioned, the seams running down, but the seams are not just running down straight, but they kind of curve here. And it does the same in the front. So it curves inwards. Yes, exactly. We'll see if that's cutting in anywhere or not. Um, but yeah, for now, I will say this fabric feels really nice and soft and stretchy and lightweight. And let's just see these on. All right, onto these leggings. I will say I'm very surprised at how, like, you know, how much space I still have left. I was thinking, you know, I would go for a medium and hopefully that'll be okay because sometimes the Asian brands do like fit a little smaller but I went off the size chart and I got stuck with this and I do feel like I have a little bit of extra space now here in the crotch area but it's nice and tight around my calves so you know I wouldn't I wouldn't size down to a small necessarily but I think if you're definitely on a smaller side you could do that we do have a top seam but it's not feeling like annoying at all. Like I'm actually happy it's there because that means these are gonna stay up nicely. And like, maybe it's like if you're folding over to the sides, it's gonna cut in a little bit, but it's like really when I'm wearing it, I don't mind it at all. Cause also just like very thin up here. So it's not like the whole thing, which is good. We do have a front seam. I don't feel it very, very much. So also very nice. It's very comfortable. It's just the most confusing thing ever. <laughs> like. These leggings do have like kind of like a silicone strip at the bottom here and it's very tight. It's not cutting in now, but it's just like if, so these are like a little bit shorter than a seven eighth length on me. If you're a tall person and you have this like tight thing here and it sits higher in your calf, it's definitely gonna cut in and be very uncomfortable. So I've never seen that before, but it's instead of putting, I'm just trying to come closer to show you, but like instead of putting an, an, a seam here, they actually just have like this I don't know, like it's, it's not really a silicone strip, but it kind of feels that way down there. And it's like, I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, just be aware if you're a tall person, taller than me, I'm 5'7", these are probably not gonna fit you because if this thing sits higher on your calf, it's just gonna cut off circulation. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, if you're smaller than me or the same height or something, I think it's gonna be fine. But it's just so weird, I've never seen this before, so confusing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, then in the back we do have like nice and high sitting seams that so actually it's sitting really nice and high Like kind of giving your glutes some space to to exist and I will also say I'm like not feeling like it's not feeling tight here at all Which is also surprising because sometimes that happens. So my glutes aren't getting squished down or anything um, They can just be there and then we do have the pockets here the uh, nice wide pockets and my phone got lost somewhere again so I'm just gonna use this packet of tissues to put in and it does fit and I think there's a little bit more stretch room for more stuff so you know I think it should be fine um there's like these two seams that come from the pockets and you can kind of see that where the pockets are um and then they, all of a sudden they, they kind of like go a little bit wider they, they kind of bulge out a little bit here I don't mind too much it's fine it's just like maybe the tiniest bit weird but if you don't like that maybe just don't grab them and then as I mentioned we have like seams that come all the way across here and we also have the same thing happening uh, in the back and I was kind of worried they'd cut in but they're not cutting in at all so yeah now that I'm wearing this a little bit longer I'm wondering if maybe do you see all the space here maybe I would say to size down if you're in between I think I could have probably done a small like it's a lot of space for sure so yeah do size down if you're in between. I think that's my recommendation now. Um, yes. Anything else I can say about these? I mean, they're printed on white, right? But since the print is very light, I don't think you see them, you, you see that they're stretching out too much. Like you don't see that it's like, it's not such a big color difference. Cause usually for me, you can see the big difference between the waistband and the butt. Um, but I don't think it's like too extreme or anything, at least from what I can see. Um, so yeah. I'm presently pleasantly surprised with these. Just very confused about this ankle situation.
All right, let's move on to the second set I got. We have this in this tide water green. It's so like a really, really pretty, like kind of muted green color. And this is the second skin feel bra. So it's like a super cute one, I think. It's um, like it has a square neckline here, which I do like a lot. We do have removable cup pads again. And it has like these thin straps. So it's definitely not gonna be like a high support situation. But for my small chest, it's probably gonna be fine. And then like this, like Y racer back, like a very narrow one, which I also always like because it's like looks really elegant and just like shows off your back a lot. And underneath the chest, we don't really have an elastic here. It's like, or maybe like we do have like a, this narrow elastic, but it's like, it's not this, not this whole thing is an elastic basically. So this is like nice and soft. And then it's just, you have a lot of stretch here and it's just like, kind of like you have the top seam with the leggings, you kind of have, have a seam underneath here as well that just keeps you held in a little bit. And here too, of course, like right underneath. Um, so yeah, and it's like super soft. I think this fabric feels even softer than the the one from the print, which usually happens, right? Like in a lot of other, a lot of other um, like activewear companies as well, like the prints usually feel a little less soft than the uh, solid colors. But I really do like this tight water green color. Um, the only thing I will say with a sports bra is it is one size. <laughs> So I'm not really sure what to expect from this. I mean, it looks like it's gonna fit me, but I don't know if it's gonna fit a lot of other sizes, basically. So it's an interesting choice for a sports bra to have a one size situation. Um, I don't mind too much if it's one size fits like extra small through to like medium or something, if there's at least like a little bit of a specification. Um, but yeah, for a sports bra for sure, it's a little interesting to have that. Um, again, maybe also important for some people, we do have a seam down here in the middle to kind of keep the cup pads from like wandering over on the other side. But yeah, this fabric is really, really soft, like so soft, really nice. Um, let's see it on. All right, this is such a beautiful color. Um, let's talk about this one size fits all sports bra. Um, yeah, it's, it's confusing. I mean, for me, it fits. I think I could do, I could do with a little more tightness here in the in the bottom of the band, basically, like the seam right underneath the chest. And I mean, that's all kind of, I need it a little bit tighter to get more support. Otherwise, like I do get a good amount of coverage here. Keep in mind, I have a smaller chest. So, you know, for me, it's fine that way. And then the straps are actually the perfect length. Support wise, I would say this is more of a low support. For me, it's still good enough to do most things just because I do have a smaller chest. We also have the removable cup pads and for sure there's a ton of stretch. You can see that here. So if this was a, a normal size I would have ordered, I would have just gone down in size, but since this is a one size thing, not an option. Um, but yeah, like for me, like a, you know, just a comfortable sports bra to wear, it's fine. I don't need all the support. And I think if you have a bigger chest, but the same like band size as me, I don't know, like if it's, it's probably not gonna give you too much of support. Um, but I think like if you had a bigger band size, it might fit a little bit better. And like, seriously, there's so much stretch in here. I don't even know, like it could fit a ton of people for sure. Just maybe not like optimal in terms of support. Um, the back is super cute cause it's so simple. I do like that a lot. And again, I mean, straps are perfect. The perfect length, they're also a little elastic, but like, they're not like, you know, they're, they're still holding me up or holding me in or whatever. So yeah, I just wish they had different sizes in this because I feel like it could have been a little bit better support wise, but otherwise I think it's cute. It's very, very stretchy for sure. Like very comfortable to wear. The fabric is really nice. Um, and I do like the color a lot as well. It's just like, I don't like the one size, like fits all concept kind of, because it doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think it's cute. It's going to be like more of a, you know, like I said, more of a bra that I'm gonna reach for when I wanna be very, very comfortable, not like feeling like when I don't wanna feel too much tucked in basically. Um, but otherwise I think it's really cute. All right, and last but not least, we have the second skin feel leggings, also 25 inch length. So. The pink ones were also called second skin feel leggings, but we had them with the pockets basically. So they're definitely a little bit different because these ones are way more simple. Like there's not as much happening as there was with the pocket leggings. Again, this is the tight water green color and these leggings fortunately were not a one size situation. <laughs> I went off the size chart as I did with the other leggings and I got, went with a medium. So we'll see how that goes. 
but you can see like the waistband comes in a little bit, it's nice and high waisted. We do have a front seam and then in the back we have slightly curved glute seams here. I mean it's a little bit like that's a little bit of like a but here you can see it. I'm almost like forgetting words. It's like crinkled in the back, but um, it's gonna disappear when I have it and when I try it on. But yeah, you can still see the slightly curved glute seams. And otherwise there's not much happening. So like no seams off to the side or anything, like nothing happening there. We don't have a logo on these. We do have one pocket in the waistband in the front. So on the inside, you have like this kind of small key pocket. I'm never too much of a fan of it because I always feel like you can kind of slightly see it. Like you can kind of slightly, oops, see the outline of the pocket, usually when you have it on, but it's not too much of a problem. It's just like, you know, I prefer to not have it there, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I actually prefer to have it there than in the back of the waistband, because as I said previously, like it looks a little bit more bulky if you have it in the back of the waistband. So at least, I mean, it's a little bit nicer than having that. And yeah, 25 inch inseam. I'm excited to see how they fit, because again, same as with the sports bra, they're very, very... Um, brushed very very soft um, and they feel like really really nice and stretchy as well so seems like so far I mean fabric wise I have nothing to complain about um, they just feel really nice uh, I've definitely like I will say they're, they're definitely more expensive than if you were to buy from like Sears Yoga for example or Camo Fitness Colorful Koala so yeah I don't I mean the fabric def definitely does feel a little bit nicer than than some of those but just some of those, that's also a thing. So um, we'll see how the fit is. All right, onto these leggings. So same as the pink ones, they have like this interesting strap situation. It's not a strap, but like just like this, I don't know, I don't know what to, what to call it. They just have that. And it's, like I said, it's not cutting in, but like if you're taller and it sits higher on your calves, I think it has the potential to do that. So really just keep that in mind. I feel like these are a tiny bit longer than the pink ones, but still like, a tiny bit shorter than a 7 8 on me. We do have a front seam on these, uh, I don't feel it too much. And then they don't really have side pockets, so this is a, it's a very clean and sleek look. But they do have a pocket in the waistband here. It's not my personal favorite, because um, I always feel like you can kind of see it. But it's okay, it's there. Some people use these, I know that. Um, I just personally don't. And yeah, I do like the color a lot. I do like the fabric a lot as well. And just with the pink one, I feel like I have a little bit too much space. So I could have actually sized down to a small and I think it would have been a little bit more compressive and I do like compression a lot. So, but otherwise it's, it fits, you know, it's nice and high waisted, like it's not dipping down or anything when I squat. So I'm still like feeling very comfortable. It's just like, I do prefer to be a little bit more tucked in than this. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd fit wise, I mean, if you, if you like to have a more loose fit in your in between, you can definitely go for, for that bigger size. Um, but I'm just like, you know, I, I do like these a lot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected this fabric to be so nice. It's, it's really good. I like it. Lightweight, brushed, soft, stretchy. Yeah. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, I will say that I actually did like all the items that I got. The fit was really nice. It worked fine with like going according to the size chart, so no no issues there. Um, I was a little confused by the, the, the bottoms or like the hems of the leggings because I'd never seen that before. And I was like, 
I'm gonna put them on for a second. What is this? So just to specify this again, like it's basically like you have this like it's it's really tight around. There's like an extra seam, but it's more of a I mean it's not really a seam, but like there's something there for sure. And it's not like it's cutting in too much, but I feel like if you were a taller person and it would hit you a little bit higher on the calf, it probably would. So just keep in mind if you're really tall, the 25 inch might not be for you. Um, for me it was fine, like I said, it was just like a little like having to get getting used to this. I've never seen this on like the around the, the ankle there, like it's like what, what are they trying to achieve? <laughs> like trying to make them not slide because that's usually not going to happen anyway. So don't really know what that was for, um, but yeah. If I had to pick a favorite, I think I, th I like the tight water green set, but that's mainly because of the color. And I did like that the leggings were a little bit more simple than the pocket leggings. There was less going on and they just like looked really nice. So I will say that. And yeah, I mean, the fabric was really good. It felt really nice. I felt nicely tucked in. Not too compressive, you know, but like really, really nice, um, good items. I've definitely seen some other brands do some of these similarly for cheaper, but I've also seen other brands do something similar for the same price point or even more expensive. So at this point, I really don't know if like if the price is justified or not. It really depends on, you know, what you're willing to spend, basically. So yeah, there's a lot of like brands like copying other things, like drop shipping stuff. Um, as far as I know, they're not really doing that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I really like the items I got. Um, you can check them out. Uh, like I said, you can use my code if I figured it out until then to say 15%. Um, otherwise, I just want to say thank you for them to them for contacting me and sending me some stuff so I could review it for you guys. Again, they're like a very small brand, so they're not like really massive. They haven't had that many orders yet, but as far as I know, you know, that there haven't been any issues. And I will also say that for me, yes, it took two weeks uh, for it to get here since once it was ordered, uh, once the order was placed. But you know, after that, like, it's absolutely fine. And honestly, like some other brands like that are bigger have taken similar amounts even though I was promised faster shipping so yeah I have no complaints there and it also did arrive to me without having to pay any import fees or anything so that's always like important for me I don't want to have any hidden fees when things come um from abroad and I mean I don't want to say it's hidden fees because I'm aware of the fact that these sometimes do come up but I just want to say that like if you order from them you're not going to have to pay any import fees so and they deal with that somehow, <laughs> basically. Um, anyway, yes. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and you can DM me there, but you can also leave your comments here. And I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. You can tell me if you like the items, what you think of the brand, if you've ever heard of them before, um, all these kind of things. Um, if you have any feedback or any suggestions for like new brands, you can also leave that in the comments down here. And yeah, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos coming. And um, yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.